A lease termination letter is a document commonly used in residential rental property arrangements to let the other party know that a lease is coming to an end or won't be renewed. It can be especially important in situations where the lease is ending earlier than expected. First, when do I need a lease termination letter? Leases of residential property carry a term or a length of time. Before writing a lease termination letter, figure out what kind of lease is involved and where in the lease's duration you are. If you aren't sure, take a look at the lease agreement you signed when the lease began. Things can be a bit more complicated for landlords. Terminating a lease early and having a tenant removed from a property is known as eviction, and there are very different rules in each state for the conditions that will allow a lease to be terminated and how much notice the tenant should be given. Be sure to check our rental agreement pages for your state to get more details. The other timing issue to consider with lease termination letters is that they shouldn't be your first response. The letters are usually a legal requirement to get out of a lease, but if it comes down to a dispute in court, judges look unfavorably upon parties who just send out demanding letters. Instead, try calling the other party first, explain the issue you're having, and see if there isn't any way you can work it out. If you're at the point where you know you'll need a lease termination letter, what should it contain? The lease termination letter should make clear what kind of end is coming to the lease and set the terms of future interactions, including contact information if that will be changing. If you're a tenant, specify when your obligation on the lease ends and indicate that you are alerting the landlord with as much notice as state law requires. Again, if you're attempting to end the lease early, you should have already spoken with the landlord beforehand. If you don't, you could be on the hook for rent payments long after you left. If you haven't been able to come to an agreement and are preparing for a legal dispute, a lease termination letter signals that the landlord should start looking for another tenant and can minimize your exposure. Even if you're leaving on good terms, a lease termination letter is a good spot to inform the landlord where to send the remainder of your security deposit. If you are a landlord and you've been unable to get what you are seeking through discussions with the tenant, a lease termination letter will likely mean eviction. Here, it's important to inform the tenant of the reason for eviction, how much time he or she has left, the things the tenant can do to stop or reverse the process, and what rights the tenant has in future court proceedings. And because every state has strict limits on how much notice tenants must receive before going forward with evictions, it's critical that a lease termination letter be sent through certified mail, or if delivered in person, that it includes some kind of proof of service. We're eForms, the world's biggest database of legal documents. Click or tap the link here for further details on lease termination letters for both tenants and landlords. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos that will help protect your assets.